one after the other. All three of these books have been highly reviewed by the Oprah Magazine to the LA Times, and they all three have Jacksonville in common. As a kid, you know, growing up in Jacksonville, I was always writing little stories here and there. I have a lot of nostalgia for growing up uh, in Jacksonville. Three writers, three voices, all three credit Jacksonville, their hometown, for influencing their writing. Author Deisha Villiers' book, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies, is nine short stories about black women and the church. I think because the church was part of, of, of my upbringing and because for black women and for lots of people, um, you know, so much of your life is kind of deciding who you're going to be vis-a-vis -vis the church's teachings. She and Donnie Walton both went to Stanton College Prep for high school and connected after their books were released recently. Walton's book is called The Final Revival of Opal and Neb, a story about music influenced by the Bold City sounds. And then, of course, the legacy of, you know, Jacksonville as sort of a hub of Southern rock, you know, Leonard Skinner being from there and the complicated kind of history of that. Walton connected with Dantiel W. Moniz years ago in graduate school, realizing they're both from Duval. Moniz's book, Milk, Blood, Heat, is 11 short stories based in Florida and highly influenced by locations on the First Coast. All of the characters come to a point in their lives where they have to decide you know, how do I go forward with my life? Don't worry, I checked for you. All three of these books are available at our local public libraries. In Jacksonville, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.